children's emergency department is very crowded every day. However, many of these children attend for less serious medical conditions. When doctors and nurses have to deal with these less serious cases, children with real emergencies may risk getting less immediate attention. Upon registration, a specially trained nurse at the triage will first assess your child to prioritise the medical needs based on severity of his or her condition. The doctors in children's emergency will then attend to your child as soon as possible. Priority is given to children with serious and life-threatening conditions. An emergency is an illness or injury which could result in serious disability or death if it is not treated immediately. Some emergency situations in infants and children which require prompt or immediate evaluation and treatment at the children's emergency include Major accidents like road traffic accident, fall from a height, near drowning, deep cuts or wounds, serious head injury with vomiting, drowsiness or significant scalp swelling, suspected broken bones, dislocated joint, suspected poison ingestion, inhalation or ingestion of foreign body, loss of consciousness, seizures, unusual behaviour such as drowsiness, irritability or confusion, difficulty in breathing, poor feeding or persistent vomiting, blood in the stools or vomit, green vomit, fever or illness in an infant less than 3 months old, severe pain that is persistent or worsening. Minor conditions like the common cold, viral fever, mild gastroenteritis and minor injuries may be adequately treated by your family doctor. How high a fever is does not necessarily indicate the severity of an illness. One has to balance the duration of the fever with other associated signs and symptoms as well as the age of the child. Learn how to control the fever to make your child more comfortable. Your child may be treated by the family or polyclinic doctor if he or she is observed to be alert, fairly active, able to interact with caregivers, able to play, feeding adequately or able to retain oral fluids, not having any of the symptoms stated in the list of emergency conditions. Other examples of non-emergency conditions which can be treated by the family doctor or referred to a specialist include chronic rash on an otherwise healthy and well child, chronic constipation, poor weight gain, poor growth, chronic cough in a child who does not have fever or breathing difficulty. If your child has a non-emergency condition, you can either visit the polyclinic or see your family doctor. If you are unsure whether your child's condition needs urgent medical attention, it's best to see your family or the polyclinic doctor early.